Joining forces to oppose hate. Faculty at UW Platteville organizing an anti hate rally on campus in light of some recent hate crimes there. News 3's Mark Lovacott was there and he has the story. Stop hate! I say stop and you say hate! Stop hate! Stop hate! It was a moment to help bring to light the troubling hate crimes plaguing the UW Platteville community. Stop racism! Stop racism! Faculty stepped up in a big way and announced they're not going to take it any longer. We, we teach tolerance and, and diversity. We, we want diversity. We hope for diversity. And so it, it's awfully frustrating when, when that happens. I really believe this is the hope, the start of something positive uh, that brings hope and light to our campus. Daryl Meek is one of many who have been hate crime targets this semester. Last week he came home to racial slurs written on his off-campus home. He has since been relocated to a secret safe place with added security. I think it's a great move by the faculty to let the students of color know that they have our back, that they support us, and they do not stand for racism. It would be wrong of me not to admit that it, it, it strikes near, very near and dear to my heart that this is going on. It's, it's sickening, it's appalling, and uh, we have to work through it. Chancellor Dennis Shields says the administration continues to work on ways to end the recent string of hate crimes. Shields says there's a long road ahead, but this rally is right on track. Good people have to stand up, and that's what these folks are doing to make known to everyone where we really come from. Student leaders tell me a walkout is being planned for next Tuesday. Graduate students are organizing that, and they hope to have the entire campus walk out of class from 10 to noon to show their opposition to the recent hate crimes. As we reported last week, the campus is offering a $1,000 reward for anyone with information leading to an arrest. The FBI is also involved in the investigation. All right, News 3's Mark Lovacott reporting tonight. Mark, thank you very much.